Hello everyone. Now that we understand how to configure routing tables, in this session we will add internet connectivity via internet gateway. An internet gateway serves as a critical junction that provides internet access to the resources within our VPC. It is a highly available resource that is fully managed by AWS, ensuring consistent and reliable access to and from the internet. To enable traffic flow between your VPC and the internet, a route must be added to the VPC's routing table that directs internet traffic denoted by CIDR block 0.0.0.0/0 to the internet gateway. This entry ensures that any traffic from your VPC destined for an IP address outside your VPC is directed through the internet gateway, facilitating outbound connections and allowing inbound traffic. Let's go ahead and create Internet Gateway. Click on the Internet Gateway in your left menu to open Internet Gateway dashboard. Clicking on Create Internet Gateway button will open the window where you just need to provide a name for your Internet Gateway and optionally configure tags. This will launch your Internet Gateway. If you look at its state, it will show that it is not attached to any VPC. So first we need to attach it to our VPC. After that, its status will change to attached. If you look at the routing table configuration, it is not attached to the internet gateway. So let's go ahead and add a route to our routing table that will allow access to and from internet via our internet gateway. If we set up an EC2 instance configured with an Apache web server and make sure that the instance is assigned a public IP address, this setup will enable our web server accessible from the internet. Let's launch an EC2 instance in our public subnet. Select the default security group and provide a script to launch an Apache web server when EC2 instance initializes. This will allow us to test our internet configuration. Once the EC2 instance is running, we can copy the IP address and paste it in our browser. The web server won't respond. This means traffic is not reachable. For that, we have to enable HTTP traffic in our security group. Once configured, our traffic will reach the web server, which will respond with a message. That's it for today. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.